Industrial music. Do you remember the first time you heard it and what your thoughts were on it? That's what we're going to talk about on the podcast today. Hey, I just was talking to a friend of mine about Circle of Dust. Do you remember Circle of Dust? They were on REX Records, released two or three albums, and... Um, one thing that I really liked about that band is that genre of music, industrial metal, while purists might argue, well, industrial music started with craft work or art of noise or went back to some of these 70s artists um, or Nine Inch Nails did it before Clayton Scott did. You know, all that aside, uh, this dude named Scott Albert, who was in a metal band called Immortal before he kind of reinvented himself and it reminded me a lot of looking back it reminds me of another story a parallel story of two different musical styles but Scott Albert went away from immortal and kind of a uh, straight ahead thrashy heavy metal band and reinvented his sound and created a new very innovative sound Again, he wasn't the first, but he was right in the thick of it, creating something new. Reminds me of Peter Steele and Typo Negative. He had a band called Carnivore, which was kind of a more straight ahead, angry, almost punkish, heavy metal band. And he went away and came back to his band Typo Negative, and he even filed it, got his teeth fixed, looked like a vampire, came up with this whole new sound and a new concept, and just every piece was like, thought up of in this genius brain of Peter Steele. Clayton Scott, or Scott Albert, did the same thing with Circle of Dust, I think. And the one thing that's cool about industrial music, it was, it was like it was an artist painting with a new, on a new tapestry with new colors. I think that he was actually like the, the, the Shih Tzu massagers in, in, in the China and places like that. They have pinpoints on your foot where they touch a pressure point and it affects another part of your body, it can cure headaches or whatever, and can cure allergies. That concept, industrial music, was hitting on new pressure points and touching new nerves that had never been touched before. And that was what was exciting about that exploratory new style of music that hadn't been... Uh, exhausted yet so you know Clayton Scott of Circle of Dust and later on with Cell Dweller was taking a genre of music that was still in its developmental stages and doing new things and that's what was, was exciting about Circle of Dust and what took it up a notch for me was when I got to see Circle of Dust at Cornerstone I think it was Cornerstone 91 might have been 90 and I seem to recall there being technical difficulties but that being said they had all these television screens up on stage and loops and different percussion instruments and lots of guitars and it was a nice long set um, and it was a blitz visually as well as orally and um, anyway I just have a lot of respect for Circle of Dust and what they did and how they uh, kind of forged new pioneering work in music. And uh, so those are some of my memories that just got jogged and wanted to just share it on the Heaven's Metal podcast. Um, you know, what industrial metal did you like? Did you like Circle of Dust? Did you like Under Midnight? Did you like Mortal? Um, did you like Nine Inch Nails? Uh, do you listen to any 70s stuff like Kraftwerk and Art of Noise and a um, bunch, you know, Trent Reznor? Um, what do you like? Join the discussion.